He is known for his extensive contributions in the field of music, particularly in the areas of composition and ethnomusicology. He conducted fieldwork on the ethnic music of the Philippines and played a pivotal role in the research and composition of music concrete. He pursued a compositional career more vigorously after earning a doctorate in ethnomusicology, and held concerts in Manila that introduced renowned composers such as Pierre Boulez, Yanis Sinakis, and Edgar Varez to the Filipino public. His name is Jose Maceda. In the world of music, one name stands out as a true legend, Jose Maceda, a Filipino composer whose impact on music is undeniable. Born in Manila, Philippines, Maceda's journey into the realm of music began with his studies at École Normale de Musique de Paris in France, where he learned piano, composition, and musical analysis. After returning to the Philippines, he embraced his passion and became a professional pianist. But Maceda's genius extended far beyond the piano. He delved into the world of musicology, studying at Columbia University and anthropology at Northwestern University. In 1952, he embarked on a remarkable endeavor, conducting fieldwork on the ethnic music of the Philippines. This deep dive into the rich musical heritage of his homeland shaped his unique approach to composition. Maceda's exploration led him to the realm of music concrete, a groundbreaking genre that combined recorded sounds with traditional music. In 1958, he even worked at a recording studio in Paris that specialized in this avant-garde style. It was during this time that he had the privilege of meeting the likes of Pierre Boulez, Karlheinz Stockhausen, and Yanis Anakis, visionary figures in the world of contemporary music. This encounter with musical giants further fueled Maceda's passion for pushing musical boundaries. In his extensive career as an ethnomusicologist, Jose Maceda made remarkable contributions to the study and preservation of music in Southeast Asia. With a passion for understanding the diverse forms of music in the region, he not only produced numerous papers but also composed his own unique pieces for Southeast Asian instruments. Maceda's compositions showcased his creative genius and experimental spirit. One of his notable works, titled, Peg Samba, was composed for an impressive ensemble of 116 instruments, accompanied by 100 mixed voices and 25 male voices. This composition exemplified his exploration of the intersection between traditional and contemporary musical elements. Another composition that demonstrated Maceda's innovation was, Cassette 100, which incorporated the use of 100 cassette players as musical instruments. This unconventional approach highlighted his forward-thinking mindset and willingness to push the boundaries of traditional music. Additionally, Maceda's composition, called, Ugnayan, integrated the sounds of 20 radio stations, creating a musical piece that transcended the limitations of conventional performance spaces. His vision for musical collaboration and communication was truly extraordinary. Hashtag continue hashtag. Furthermore, Maceda's dedication to Philippine folk songs was evident in his 1977 project, in which he sought to study these songs and their unique rhythmic qualities. He believed that understanding the indigenous music of his home country was crucial for appreciating its cultural heritage. In the 1990s, Maceda expanded his compositions to include Western orchestra and piano. His works, such as, Distemperment, Colors Without Rhythm, and Sujiakon, demonstrated his ability to seamlessly merge different musical traditions and create harmonious compositions that resonated with audiences worldwide. Maceda's contributions to the preservation of traditional music went beyond his own compositions. He also collected audio records of traditional music from various populations in the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. These valuable audio archives were preserved and deposited in the CNRS, Musée del Home Audio Archives in France. Recognizing the importance of Maceda's work, his entire musical collections were inscribed in the UNESCO Memory of the World Register in 2007, a testament to their cultural significance and the recognition they received from the Philippine government. Jose Maceda's remarkable achievements in ethnomusicology and composition have left an indelible mark on the world of music. His dedication to exploring and preserving the musical traditions of Southeast Asia has enriched our understanding and appreciation of the diverse cultures in the region. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.